Hey, what's good to my veterans? Tino here with State of Decay 2 news, and this time not only about Update 24. Not a one to badmouth under laps, nor act insulted, which I'm not, but I am in a minor lack of understanding, and here's why. The last livestream of Monday the 18th should have been something completely different on their channel. It was announced long ago on their stream schedule on their YouTube channel, and was recently changed when I checked it a few days ago. Now for those of you who don't believe me or can't follow what I mean, I blend in the screenshot from the schedule a few weeks ago as it was on the channel info tab, and for comparison the one they changed a few days ago or maybe even a week ago. The recent stream was nothing about the promised patch about outpost changes with Lucy Tibbets, no update 24 or any future news, more like a lethal zone guide by Joe Sauna and it wasn't bad at all honestly. But my small issue I got is they should have informed us about the rescheduling of the plans and event since I watched through the whole stream after it was finished to catch if they mentioned why it wasn't possible for them to accord to plan, even a small update about the change of plans on a Twitter or SOD2 news page would have been good enough, or a few words at the beginning like I said, for me personally it's nothing devastating, even though I woke up at 2am for it because the streams usually end at 4pm PST and here in Italy it means 1am. So I went to bed a few hours earlier to wake up earlier, but then I saw the unexpected. It got me slightly flabbergasted if you wanna say that. Oh, cringy word. So now you may ask, Well Tino, why are you talking about it? If it's nothing devastating or too impactful for you. Well, the thing is, Undead Labs is giving me off some strange vibes to be honest. And I mean it in a good way. They usually behave like that when they are stressed cause they've been working on something big. Technical issues, rescheduling of the plans, promising big updates, certain under lab members who can make it to their appointments and so on, are all things they did exactly one year ago when they were working on the Juggernaut edition. So here are my speculations. Yes, speculations, nothing 100% confirmed, but I am a big fan of the developers since 2015 and when I purchased State of Decay 1. so. I got their patterns and style of approach down by now, even though they are pretty unpredictable for most of the time. Something like I talked about before in a video about a week ago, we can expect something similar to the year 1 survival edition that State of Decay had or like the Juggernaut edition for State of Decay 2 from last year, maybe a play card edition or year 3 survival edition or State of Decay 2 blood feral edition, something along the lines like that, you can name it. Like an ultimate edition with small upcharge in order for us to get all the pre-order weapon and vehicle packs, so the one like the Prepper, the Apocalypse weapons, the SHTF pack, yeah, and a few new ones, the fifth and final map, a new Daybreak map, or maybe a complete new Daybreak mode with traps, and rather working like a hot mode slash tower defender like Night of the Dead, also recent game. I already used the clip from the Fallless stream when Harry Goffin, product director and thereby one of the highest chiefs of Under Labs, promised us some great new additions and features, and even though we can all agree that at least 3 or 4 of those big features, big in quotation marks, will be small patches like the minor outpost change that will come or the one from update 21 with the accessible survivor inventory option and similar stuff like that, but hopefully one or two updates will be something big. About 4 to 5 weeks ago, there was a reddit user who found some files and codes that were giving hints and clues about a new map but unfortunately I can't find the thread anymore, and I'm also sure it was deleted intentionally by a higher power like Under Labs. So if we really will get a new map, it won't be something big like a city like uh, Danforth from SOD1, since Joffrey recently answered like that he said when the question came up before the stream started, that they won't put a city map into the game or it's nothing planned, but there again, we don't know about Under Labs strategies, they're unpredictable, and I wanted to play you the clip of Joffrey saying it, but it's already deleted. They deleted the actual first stream, which will be put unlisted before the or after the enhanced version of it gets uploaded every Monday. But unfortunately this time they didn't left it unlisted, they completely deleted the video. So my guess is they said something before the stream started that might have no value anymore. For example, this one that I just said. So a city map could be possible, like I said, they're unpredictable. I mean, Denford itself wasn't really a map. It just had the setting or a surrounding panorama, skyline, a city skyline, something like that. 
So a snow map is also no option since that would be too costly and would be, have a higher impact on the resources and budget. They should save for SOD3, which might have chances for dynamic snow since they want to use the Unreal Engine 5 for it, so big hopes for that. But maybe, and it is simply a personal wish since I've always been a Wild West fan since I'm a kid, a Wild West themed map with a few older style towns and with saloons like the towns Cripple Creek in Colorado or Old Man and Tombstone, both in Arizona, would be a dream for me. But once again, these are all just my wishes, my guesses. Nothing, or I wouldn't say nothing, but most of it isn't confirmed and it's written in the stars, so I want to hear your opinion, your thoughts, your wishes, because I, at this point, collected so many ideas and wish lists from you that I could do a complete series of it, so bear with me the next few weeks, months, I'll do a lot of content to SOD2 and some wishlist and predictions to SOD3, so if you're up for it, leave me ideas in the comments and your opinions on the whole topic and especially about the last livestream because maybe I'm not the only one who saw some people expressing their feelings. I mean, I wasn't really disappointed like I said before, but flabbergasted. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Bye.